Hey guys, it's Jack and welcome back to day three of my Disneyland Paris vlog. Uh, I'm just on my way into the parks now, just had a nice late breakfast. I uh, didn't had quite a long sleep tonight, last night, so in good spirits. So this morning, gonna have a look around some of the shops in Disney Village, I think first, and then we've got a booking at one of the, uh, one of the restaurants at about quarter to two. It is currently half past 10. So I will probably be heading into the parks. That's probably how I'll start the, the actual park, parks day in there. I'll probably just do a bit of shopping until then. But yes, come along with me. The parks seem busier today than they have done the last couple of days. Uh, and I don't know whether that's... I'm trying to think of a reason to not start the school holidays, certainly not in the UK. It's a Thursday, so I don't, don't think it's going to be a, a bank holiday anywhere. I don't know, maybe it's just because I started off later today, so it seemed busier. But it does seem... Wait times seem a lot higher today than they were pretty much all of yesterday. And from what I've been looking at last couple of days, even before I've come here, like on the app. But, I don't know. It seems really weird. I don't know if there's a bank holiday in... Yes, it's a Thursday. It just seems a bit of a weird one. Thank you. 
sorry about the hair. I've just I've got I've got right post ride hairs all stuck up. Um, about to jump on Star Tours, third time's the charm, I think. I'm trying to get something other than great for the last planet. Don't know how successful I'll be, but I will let you guys know. <laughs> Star Tours and yes, complete different this time. Uh, Darth Vader at the start, um, Rebel Alliance ending, Kashyyyk and Death the Death Star, which I think from what I was reading is Death Star 3. Because Death Stars 1 and 2 have been destroyed. Oh, well, it might have been Death Star 1. I'm not sure. That was a rather weird experience. Ride's just broken. Uh, we were on Tower of Terror and it just didn't, wasn't setting off. So two of the cast members were stood there. You know, they did the menacing wave, then the doors didn't shut. So then they did the um, did the Macarena for us, which was was very nice. So we just got off uh, Tower of Terror, and there seems to be some sort of problem with some of the rides. Um, both the rides in Avengers Campus, um, Web Slinkers, and the other one, uh, Flight Force, and Crush's Coaster are all down at the moment. And there's a couple of other rides that are apparently not running in. In the, uh, in the park as well, so wondering whether that could be connected. I don't know. Might be overthinking it, it might just be coincidence, but it's a bit odd. So it's currently just gone six o'clock. Uh, I was hoping to jump on a few more rides around here for. But I might go back to my hotel, drop some stuff off again. I've been having a bit of a buying souvenirs and things day today. So I might just go back there now, drop this off. Head back over to the actual Disneyland Park and grab some tea whilst I'm out there. I'm thinking of, eat, drink, uh, of eating tea at Colonel Artie's tonight um, just because there's a, there, there's a running joke again, it's the jungle book back to the jungle book references, uh, which one day I promise there'll be a video about, proper video, but we actually. I had to put a few clips on because I think I forgot to on the, on the last time I did it, so we'll do that. Right, so I have a plan. I am going to see when I go to the room, when I'm going to go in, have a quick shower. Might leave Colonel Hartie's till tomorrow or Saturday. It might be my last meal in the park, so I'm just going to go to pizza and then get on my train and start coming home. I'm going to go to the Brown Derby instead, which is in Walt Disney World, which is in Walt Disney Studios. And that's my plan this evening is to go there. Hopefully, if the rides are running, and I'll go on uh, Flight Force again, Crush's Coaster. I don't know what I in that park. No. Flight Force, Crush's Coaster. Jump over to Disneyland. Do um, Big Thunder. Hyperspace. And Star Tours again. Five rides and some tea. Try and be out back at the room for about half seven ish, quarter, 20 past seven ish. And see where we get from there. Also, I'm going to try and grab a drink, as in alcoholic. Never drink on a first before. So this could 
be interesting, like I said, when I got home, or when I got to the hotel room now, so I might get it back. Gonna have a shower, drop my stuff off, have a brew. Um, rest my feet a little bit, because my feet are knackered. I've done about, what, 4,000 steps yesterday, and God knows how many today already. And then we'll go. Might try and catch the fireworks tonight as well. I know I'm definitely going to try and watch them once more this week. But I'm not going to film that. I'll just use the footage from when I watched it last night. So I can actually just sit and watch it rather than film it. Which would be quite nice. Right, so what's the plan then? I've thought what my plan is going to be. I am about to set off. I'm going to go down, go a drink, come back to my room. Get my passport off because I'll be using that as my ID. And then onto the parks to do Indiana Jones. No, in order. I'm going to try and do them in Crush's Coaster, Avengers, over to Disneyland Park, and then do Indiana Jones, Big Thunder, uh, Star Tours, Hyperspace with tea in there somewhere, probably around Big Thunder. Because that seems the most logical route to take. There'll be a pizza place that I'll have that. But hoping to get a few more. I have also booked in for Captain Jack's tomorrow night. Um, I had originally booked that for Saturday after Saturday lunchtime, and then I moved my trains around because I wasn't sure I'd have enough time to, to transfer and things. So I want to make sure that I've got plenty of time to do that. So I'll do, So, but I've, I've booked in for there for tomorrow um, evening. I'm going to try and get in Pim's kitchen for lunch tomorrow as well. Uh, so I'm going to have quite a quiet lunch. Like I said, I'm going to go to a bar now, Captain's Quarters, which is in the hotel bar thing. I think tomorrow night, I'm, I'm going to try, I might try and do the fireworks tonight as well, actually. Because then tomorrow night I can have a proper good evening sleep before I've got a whole day of travel on Saturday. And I can also pop to the Skyline Bar as well, which is the bar across the waters over at um, the Marvel Hotel as well. But that's the plan, and I'm going to set off in just a moment. You know, I don't think I've ever been on a roller coaster drunk. Actually, that is a lie. I did. Um, <clears throat> let's have a uh, quick cocktail. And then. Off there. So I went on Pandora. Yeah, I don't think I've been on roller coaster drunk, but that's why I did um, flight of passage whilst after having a cocktail. Didn't feel drunk, so I don't know that counts. It's changed colour, it's now completely red. So, I just finished my cocktail from Black Pearl, very nice. I don't know whether it is a Disney thing though, because I, I have never ever felt even slightly tipsy from a Disney cocktail, ever. It might just be... I mean, to be fair, every time, every other time I've had a cocktail, it's normally been with a mix of various other alcoholic beverages over the course of an evening. But I don't know. First time I ever had one, I was really, really concerned I was going to be, you know, I was going to go straight to my head or whatever. But I didn't feel a thing with it afterwards. It might just be the, you know, it might just be a mix of all the mixed drinks and stuff. But I had six rum cocktails and. I felt tipsy off them before, but never with a, one from Disney. We'll see if that changes tomorrow. Somebody's dropped a card here, I'll go have that in at the reception. Right, so I'm off to the parks now. Um, yeah, go do some roller coasters. I'm going to head over to Walt Disney Studios first. Try and get on Chris's coaster, I think that's going to have the longest wait time. Avengers Camp um, Flight Force is about 20 to 8. So, I might go and watch the fireworks at all this evening. 
like I've mentioned. But I'm going to try and get five or six rides in before that as well. Partly to get money up to get the use of my photo pass. Which I've got at the moment, I think I've got about three or four of the Avengers ones and the Flight Passage ones and not only and like one or two others. I've got a big thunder one which I do need. And we'll get that. Yeah, it's, it's weird. I'm having pizza for the first time this trip. Last time I was here, pretty much every every buffet place did pizza and I practically lived off pizza and chips for about a week. I've not had one yet. I've not had a burger either, which I think is tomorrow's plan. Um, tomorrow for, and Saturday. Because I think Pim's Kitchen has burgers, so I'll probably have something there. I mean, the little mini, like, dinky, like, slider burgers almost. But I'll have some of those. But yes, I'm quite looking forward to having pizza tonight. Because last time, I mean, I remember this, the place one, last time I was here. I'm not drunk, I promise. <laughs> Although I did just try and catch some bubbles. Lots of bubble ones and things here, so lots of kids blowing bubbles. But yes, uh, last time the pizza here had like a really distinctive taste. And I'm not, I haven't seen any pizza yet since this trip. Yeah, the food situation has been weird on this trip. I mean, I think I expected to eat so many burgers and pizzas. The last couple of days I've just eaten, even when I felt like the buffet store, I've been eating, you know, roast chicken and was that I had last night sirloin and, and pork and veal and, and lamb stew and veg soup. You know, it's one of those things that I think because I expected to eat so much rubbish, I've not eaten any rubbish and it's really weird. So I'm looking forward to a nice sort of horrible pizza. Oh, not horrible, you know, it'll be a nice pizza, but you know, it's a rubbish food, isn't it? Let's be honest. Although I do love a good pizza. So, currently, 70 minutes for Cruise Coaster, 5 minutes for um, Flight Force. Obviously, that's not including single rider. But yes, we're going to see how we can get on there and then straight over to uh, Disneyland Paris Park. So, we still need to grab some food as well. So, the quicker I can get through these rides, the better, really. Now, logically, they might be three. Jack, get on. Crushes coaster and get on flight uh, flight force to see how quickly you can get through these rides. You are wrong. Uh, you are not. You are probably correct. 35 minutes in single rider. Right, that seems more doable. I'm sure they've only got to 11 o'clock tonight or half 10 if I want to grab some food first. But let's jump on crushes now and get the first ride. Oh, our, is that five, six? I don't know. Uh, crushes, Flight Force, Indy, Big Thunder, Crushes, no, no Crushes, six. So, Crushes Coaster, down for the second time. Very good, still very good, still lots of eyes. Uh, it's now half past eight, pretty much. So I'm gonna go jump on Flight Force, then absolutely, absolutely bolt it over to the park, Disney Park. I think once I'm in there, this is that's when the fun begins, as it were. I mean, it's all fun, it's a Disney trip. But I think that's when the fun properly begins, trying to get round four or five rides. I might even try and throw in an extra sneaky one, I don't know what I'm gonna, Small World or something like that. I've not, I've not been on Small World yet. I think it's the only ride I've done previously, or ones that I would I would do again, that I've not been on yet. Might try Buzz's Astro Blast thing tomorrow, but again, it's like Small World, it's a kid's ride, isn't it? Like, the proper, proper kid's ride. They're always round. But just making a little to Flight Force, I haven't checked the timings, I hope it's still five minutes. I've checked the timings recently for other the rides, though, and they're all... 15, 20 minute ones, which hopefully after lunch should reduce, obviously as the pa uh, people start for the fireworks you know what if I miss the fireworks not a big deal I'm here tomorrow as well it's my night so I might watch that as my last hurrah I am hoping to watch it tonight but obviously food will come first good news is 
flight force is five minutes right even we've got single rider and the actual ride as well so it should basically be a walk on i think at this point which i'm looking forward to i do like this ride although it is giving me shoulder bruises <laughs> that's flight force done oh, i took a bit of a beating on that one to be honest <laughs> um just I, th I think I'm, I'm one of those. I'm just shy of the next, the next lock on the thingy, so it's, it's plenty of room when I'm being thrown around upside down and everything. Great ride, though. I do love it. So let's, I might grab some tea now because it's twenty to nine, and I've just got four rides left to do. Which hopefully, should be getting very, very quiet. But I've, this is me done for today. With, Disney Park, although I will be back tomorrow, hopefully, I'm hoping to have lunch at Pim's Kitchen, so we'll see how that one goes on. I think the reason for that is I've got four days of, I'm, I'm here for five days, but I'm, I've got four days worth of uh, the half board, like, vouchers, so I've got four meals, four, four breakfasts, four teas. I can oh, for, for other meals like lunches and teas. I can use up my full lunches, or my full breakfasts even. But the four meals that assumes that you're going to have lunch every day, and I'm only here for I leave at twelve fifty something or other on Saturday, so I'll have time to actually have a proper down sit, sit down lunch meal thing. So. I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna use both of them up tomorrow, I think. They're too big. I'll have both a big lunch and a big tea, so I'm hoping to get into Pim's Kitchen tomorrow for my, t for my, for my lunch. And then I've booked into Captain Jack's for tea, which I'm quite looking forward to. Speaking of meals I'm looking forward to, let's go for some pizza. So, it's half past nine, I've just finished my tea, it's very nice. Let's have pizza for a change. I'm gonna jump on the first ride, which is Big Thunder. Even though Indian Jump is closer, I'm going back that way, I'm gonna do a sweep. I'm like, like I'm looking, it's a small world, had a five minute wait time about 20 minutes ago. So, I might try and jump on there as well. I still haven't done that this trip. But on to Big Thunder Mountain. 25 minute wait time for Big Thunder, so we're gonna just rush into the queue now. And let's get onto it. That should be good. See manager for proper storage of equipment. It's, it's good advice. <laughs> I don't know who said that with you, which I think Big Thunder will be the longest with the short the longest wait time for these rides. And I've got about an hour and a half to do them all. So I should get round them. Some of the right order, I'm not having to, you know, backtrack on myself or anything. in the queue for the thunder and the weather's just got really cold it's not like wear out but i should have worn a sweatshirt i think i did and i, I realized that as i was leaving the hotel i could have gone back and got one and i thought you know what i can't bother walking three flights i can't bother walking back to the lift and getting the lift up there but fool is me might have some hot chocolate whilst the fireworks are on big thunder's down plenty of time just Indie small world, preferably, in terms of what makes them like um, Star Tours and uh, Hyperspace to go. But it is pretty much bang on 10 o'clock now. Because I've already recorded the fact that I could just find a spot somewhere towards the back if need be, get myself a hot chocolate and some popcorn or something. And I'm heading in the right direction anyway, so I'll just grip. Jump into Indiana Jones and I hope it's not too long a ride. Perhaps I should have done this at the start of the day when I wasn't <laughs> working on killing me. But you know, we learn from our mistakes and I'm doing a lot of learning today. That's going on a t shirt. <laughs> Indy down and it's getting dark, but there we are. So, onto Small World if the timings are alright. 
Uh, I'll just jump straight onto Farm World and then onto. Um, what else he's doing? Star Tours and Hyperspace. Can't look at it, I'm going to finish at Hyperspace, I'll finish at Star Tours though. A bit of John Williams there, you can tell because it sounds like John Williams music. <sighs> right, onwards to Fantasyland then, and um, to Small World if it's short, I'll have a look. Star Tours, and um, finish the night on Hyperspace. It's a gorgeous colour, unfortunately I'm on the wrong side of it at the moment. So the bad news is starting to redirect people around the park, which means I can't get directly through to Fantasyland. But, this is the easiest logic could be go through Tomorrowland, but I am not finishing the night off on Small World, so I might have to back up where I came. Or just skip Small World. I'm going to have a look now, see what the current wait time is. Well, it looks like they've closed off Fantasyland anyway already for the day, so that does take Small World out of the equation. Hyperspace and Star Tours are currently 10 minutes apiece. So hopefully if I jump on one, which I think is going to be Star Tours, Star Tours, I can finish with Hyperspace because I presume single rider if it's still open will be quicker than that. No guarantees of course it's even open, but... Try Star Tours, can I get another combination? It's not already today, but... I think it's a hyperspace theory, actually. Yes, I have. But I will do it. I'll start on the day tomorrow with Small World. I'll do it at some point tomorrow. And I will watch the fireworks tonight. If I can do this, I'm going to do both rides before the fireworks and the drone show starts at 10 to, 10 to 11. It is currently just before 20 past 10, so half an hour. And you both these 20, these 10 minute waits in 30 minutes, I can treat myself to a hot chocolate and popcorn. If, again, if there's time. <laughs> I would like a hot chocolate though, it's cold. Like I said before, I've got my jackets because I'm an idiot. An idiot that frankly should know better. But I think I assume because it was warm last couple of nights, it'll be fine. It was warm last couple of nights because I had my jacket on. Forget everything I just said. Star Wars building is heated. I am in heaven right now. I might not be here in 10 minutes and I have to ride on the other one, on Hyperspace. But for now, I am lovely and warm. Or at least not freezing. Star Wars down, had um, Tatooine and Coruscant. The pod racing was quite cool, to be fair. And the big fall into the actual city of Coruscant was quite well. The actual planet bit of Coruscant was quite fun as well. Also, I have 13 minutes till the fireworks start. All oh, the, the drone show starts. So, this could be... Uh, uh, this could be, as I lovingly refer to it, squeaky bum time. I want to look at what I am. On the plus head, only five minutes wait on uh, hyperspace, which is basically a walk on at this point, isn't it? <laughs> Need to make it to the actual fireworks as well, though, so just finishing the ride is good enough. That being said, might be in for a win here. <laughs> Done with five minutes to spare. Front row of. Uh, here as well, as the riders too tired post ride nah, to function. Uh, hyperspace, front row hyperspace that is painful. So, hot chocolate, popcorn, fireworks, and drones sounds like a good end of the day for me. And that was day three. Yeah, day three. 
halfway through the trip. And yeah, um, last day in the parks tomorrow. Last full day in the park, sorry. I, I will probably pop in on Saturday morning. Go on a ride, grab some lunch, come home. But, yeah, I enjoyed today. The fireworks were good again. It was nice to sort of sit there and not, not film them and just sort of enjoy them, I think. You know, I tried not to record too much on this trip. You know, I tried to just take bits of clips and all. So... There'll be certain things I, you know, if I went on the ride for the first time, I'd take videos of just about everything, sort of, you know, on the, in the queue area and things, just so I can use them in incrementally throughout the trip, the vlogs. Uh, but no, it's been good. Um, definitely, you know, definitely ready for, for bed today. Feet are aching, very blister, got blisters, and it, my. You know, last week it was my, sort of my, my uh, yesterday even it was my sort of upper legs that were aching. Today it's my feet, so definitely take it easier tomorrow. Uh, but I've got a few restaurant bookings and things in for tomorrow, which I'm quite excited for. But yeah, I don't really have very much more to say other than check out my previous videos on screen now. Subscribe, just here, just just here. Uh, you'll have. An amazing day, and I'll talk to you all next time.